for over a little longer, this pandemic situation is a whole new world. There are a few conventional to-dos that um, we all must have heard of while working from home, but I have a few tried and tested hacks in between um, that I'm going to share with you, and I hope they help you all too. They say the way you start your day makes a difference. Waking up at the same time every day helps, but I'd say if you have the space to pamper yourself uh, on a few days, I'd say sure, go for it. I know we have a lot of household chores to take care of after we get up, but um, but I think it's absolutely possible to take out 15 minutes through the day to exercise or meditate, whichever works for you. After trying out different combinations of exercises uh, in the morning, uh, here is what I recommend. I think six to 12 sets of Surya Namaskars along with a few breathing exercises is a perfect fit for an appropriate of 15 minutes at the minimum, but the more the better. Drinking a glass of water or two um, as the first thing is essential. You can also try grabbing a fruit before your Indian breakfast, um, like half an hour to one hour before your Indian breakfast. Shreya, can you move to the next slide as well? Okay. All right, thanks. Um, so it's often recommended to get dressed as you would when you're going to office, but I haven't met anyone yet who says that we, I do it diligently, but here is a hack that can work for you. I'd recommend pair up your pajamas with your shoes and trust me, it would feel more active through the day. And also it would not let you to work from your bed throughout the day. Talking face to face um, can help in better collaboration. So consider video conferencing for these time, these, these moments, they really help. It's also important to have a designated workspace in your house. It's absolutely worth it to invest in an ergonomic chair for yourself. Additionally, I recommend do not sit for long hours. Make yourself an ad hoc sit-stand table. Um, you could just buy um, a small table, also known as the pet table, easily available online. Keep it on top of a regular table, and that gives you the perfect height to stand and work. Try it out. Let me know if this hack works for you. It does work for me, though. Um, creating a work schedule is, um, is recommended, but I'd say scheduling your non-work activities or your breaks is absolutely a must. It's also important to refresh yourself um, mentally, physically, and emotionally by taking regular breaks. A lunch hour and two 15 minute breaks is, is the standard that you say. You could also try using the Pomodoro technique. If you haven't heard about it, you could Google about it and there are a lot of resources. It's mainly about um, you focus for 25 minutes and then take a break of five minutes after every 25 minutes. Lastly, I'd say do not forget to stretch. Not stretch your day, but stretch your body. Take out time, any time through the day to exercise. If you're, it, you can exercise two hours post any meal. If you're unable to find time to exercise, I'd say skip your evening tea or coffee, but exercise. Even if your day was unproductive, you'll have that one productive thing at the end of the day, which is like that you exercise at least through the day. Exercise and meditation has long-term benefits and it keeps you happy. If you've been meditating for long, absolutely awesome. But if you're still trying to figure out how to get started, headspace.com is a good place to get started. It has, it has a lot of good information and all the good resources. Lastly, I'd say don't stress and be thankful for all that you have because not everyone has the luxury of working from home in this pandemic situation. And, more, and now I'll pass it over to Anupam to give you more insights on health and fitness. We'll take some questions towards the end.